When you think of the classic 1950s sitcom Leave It to Beaver, controversial is not the word that comes to mind. After all, the show is pretty much the paragon of cookie-cutter American idealism that filled the airways back in those days. Shows weren't trying to push boundaries. Rather, they preferred to show an idealized American lifestyle free of any of the rigors and controversies of actual life. As such, Leave it to Beaver was a form of escapism for audiences, who could leave whatever was going on in their lives and enjoy the perfect family setup. But while Leave it to Beaver existed largely in a world without too much conflict, there was one incident in the very first episode they filmed that was too controversial to air. In this video, we're taking a look at it, as well as some fun facts about this classic show you might not be familiar with. Join Facts First as we present the Leave it to Beaver bathroom scene caused a big stir. One of the novel aspects of Leave it to Beaver was that it told the story from the point of view of the young protagonist, Beaver Cleaver. While hearing from the perspective of a child might not seem all that groundbreaking these days, it was something 1950s audiences hadn't seen before. That's perhaps what drew audiences in, a chance to hear from a younger character whose opinions they didn't often get. But beyond that interesting quirk, there wasn't much about Leave it to Beaver that pushed the envelope. It sat pretty firmly in the range of acceptable and non-controversial shows expected at the time. And yet a specific plot point from the pilot episode accidentally caused a huge problem. Due to the conservative norms of the era, a lot of real life wasn't allowed to be shown on television. And for some bizarre reason, that included toilets. Now, we're not talking about toilet humor or people going to the bathroom or anything like that. TV shows literally couldn't show a physical toilet. They had to somehow pretend they didn't exist, despite being in most every home in the country. In fact, at that point, shows couldn't even have a shot that was inside the bathroom at all. But as the production staff set about filming their potential first episode, they found themselves in a jam. There was an element in the script that meant they needed to show a toilet, but they weren't allowed to. How they got there. In the era when the show was set, magazines and comic books would run ads on the back cover for animals you could buy that would be mailed directly to you. That might seem barbaric these days, but it was a thing actually offered in those days. The writers of the pilot episode of Leave it to Beaver thought it would make for a fun storyline. They had the protagonist, Beaver, and his brother, Wally, order an animal from a magazine. And of course, since they were too young to know better, they ordered an alligator. They presumed the alligator would be full grown, though you can't imagine the postage that would have cost. But instead, the magazine sent them a baby alligator in the mail. The brothers have to figure out what to do with the creature and how to care for it. The boys knew enough to realize the creature needed to be in water, so they decided the easiest place for it to live and be hidden from their parents was in the toilet's water. And obviously, for the audience to see this happen, they'd need to see a toilet, or at the very least acknowledge such a thing existed. This video is sponsored by Zbiotics. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink that helps you feel better the day after drinking. Many people think dehydration is responsible for that morning after feeling, but it's actually due to an alcohol byproduct that builds up in the gut. Zbiotics produces an enzyme specifically to break down this byproduct and reduce the after effects of alcoholic beverages. This is real science that works, not random vitamins and plant extracts like everything else. And Zbiotics is so easy to use. Just drink a bottle of Zbiotics before your first drink of alcohol. You only need one bottle. Then drink responsibly, pace yourself, and get a good night's sleep. Thanks to Zbiotics, you can enjoy your next day feeling refreshed and ready to make the most of it. Every time I have Zbiotics before drinking, I am amazed at how good I feel the next day. With the holiday season upon us, consider gifting Zbiotics to give the gift of a better next morning. It's unique, thoughtful, and under $40. If you use the code FACTSFIRST at checkout, you can get an extra 15% off your first order. Click the link in the description or go to zbiotics.com slash FACTSFIRST and get 15% off. The Network's Reaction CBS execs caught wind of the plan to show a few frames of the boys' toilet in the pilot episode. Apparently, it caused quite a stir. Their standards and practices department had an issue with showing the toilet bowl on TV. And yet, the network was excited about the show, so they wanted to do everything they could to make sure it got on the air. The issue took so long to sort out that the first thing they did was push back that episode, called Captain Jack, so it was no longer the first that aired. It gave them a little more time to figure out what to do. Eventually, they figured out something of a workaround. They agreed to let Leave it to Beaver show the toilet, but not the actual bowl. They could show the back of the toilet tank. That would imply the boys put the alligator inside the bowl without actually showing it. The episode then ran as the second of the series, and history was made. 
Leave it to Beaver became the first show to air footage inside a bathroom and the first to show a toilet. Jerry Mathers, who played Beaver Cleaver, later remarked that the scene was not only groundbreaking, it was necessary. He joked that for two kids trying to hide a tiny alligator in water, there was really no other place in the house that would have worked. So if the storyline was going to stay in the show, they would need to show a toilet. Other Famous Toilets on TV While Leave it to Beaver was the first to show a toilet on TV, some other shows have helped push the envelope when it came to this odd topic. For example, the show All in the Family also played a role in TV and toilet history when it let audiences hear the sound of a toilet flushing. Of course, by the 1970s, shows were beginning to break free from the conservatism that pervaded the airwaves of the 50s and 60s. And All in the Family was one of the biggest proponents of this practice. They had episodes that revolved around hot-button topics of the day, like sexism, homosexuality, abortion, racism, and more. So it's not surprising to learn that they were the first to have audio of a toilet flushing. Even so, it was apparently a shocking event for viewers. The scene was turned into a joke, it was a sitcom after all, but it was still a big deal. And it wasn't until years later that bathroom humor or even using the bathroom would be a normal component of TV shows. Married with Children picked up the torch 16 years later and was the first show to regularly incorporate literal bathroom humor into its scripts. It was a show that relied on fairly predictable and lowbrow humor, so it wasn't super shocking that it would extend that to the bathroom. They had regular shots of the family toilet, as well as scenes in the bathroom, and a toilet flush could be heard in many episodes. The era of the toilet taboo was officially over. Finally, in the hit show Ally McBeal, which aired in 1997, the bathroom actually became a focal point. The show was set in a law firm with a co-ed bathroom. That alone was enough to cause a stir from audiences. But there were several characters who let us know about their particular bathroom habits. One had an automatic flusher on a keychain that he would press before he entered the bathroom, for example. And the bathroom became a place where important scenes took place. The fact that it was co-ed made for some awkward, funny, and always interesting interactions between the characters. There was even an episode where the main character, Ally McBeal, got stuck in one of the office toilets. A couple more fun facts about Leave it to Beaver. The show was supposed to be called It's a Small World originally, and it aired as part of another anthology series called Heinz Studio 57. The network decided not to run with that title, and they shifted to Wally and the Beaver, but then they decided that could make audiences assume it was a nature show, so they shifted to Leave it to Beaver. The original Wally character was played by actor Pat Sullivan, but as tends to happen, the filming of the pilot episode comes long before the filming of the rest of a season. Networks will film the pilot, test it with different audiences, make changes, and then decide whether to air it. Then, if reactions and ratings are good enough from when the pilot airs, they greenlight the rest of the series. This is a process that can take the better part of a year in some instances. That means any child actors on a show are potentially going to hit a growth spurt or puberty. Pat Sullivan, unfortunately, hit a growth spurt in between the pilot and the series, so he had to be replaced with Tony Dow. What a tough way to lose a legendary gig. The kicker was Dow wasn't even at the studio lot to audition for the show. A friend of his was auditioning for Wally, and Dow tagged along. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Leave it to Beaver was the first show to ever air a toilet on television? Let us know in the comments section below.